Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about how the cosmos can affect your physical body. And I think a lot of people really don't understand how much the cosmos can really um, affect us. A lot of time, like people think, like, oh, it's something out there. Um, or maybe they're getting affected by like mercury in retrograde or something like that, but they don't realize like we are actually being affected by so many different planets all at the same time. And, um, not just our moon. I mean, you think of just our moon affects the ocean, but we're like 80% water. How is it not affecting us? Well, it really does. And um, one of the things I learned many, many years ago is most nurses or hospitals, like, oh my gosh, during a full moon, they're like, we need like double the staff we normally do. And people are like, really? Yes, because of the pool of the moon on our body, on our 80% water in our uh, body, can cause changes in us. Um, it, you know, people are like, oh, the moon drove her crazy or drove him crazy or whatever it is. Um, it does on a lot of different levels. And the way each one of us are affected is can be a little bit differently from other people. So that's just kind of like, oh, interesting. Um, I will tell you that a lot of times which planet is affecting you is really depending on their energy and what sign they're in. So what a lot of people don't understand is on um, if you went out and took a picture of like just the night sky, you know what I'm saying? If you could take just like a picture, this whole huge picture of the night sky and where the planets are and what planets are around us, you would understand that it's one of those, usually the planet is a little bit closer and the um, signs like um, Aquarius or... Um, Sagittarius or Virgo or whatever else is beyond it. So that energy is being pointed at that planet, which is being pointed at us. And so it's kind of almost like this light of energy coming in at us. And we are always being affected by them. Now, a lot of times people are like, oh, I'm not being affected by them. And um, maybe they don't realize it, or maybe they don't have an understanding of how much this is really affecting us. And I think it's interesting, like not only is that planet and the, the sign that it's in pushing that energy towards us, each one of us is going to be affected differently. And that has a lot to do with what planet it, that was, what sign it was in, and how much do we connect to that planet in that sign. If that planet was in its return sign for us, so say it was um, Jupiter in a sign that um, we were born under, that's really going to affect us a lot. But maybe it's Jupiter in a planet uh, in a sign that, you know, doesn't really have a lot of effect on us. It's not going to affect us very much. Jupiter may affect us, but not necessarily the sign. So how much or how strong it is affecting us can actually change things. So one of the kind of the interesting ones is sometimes they can affect us with low energy. Um, it's kind of like that cosmos kind of that sign, that planet is uh, is kind of like sending it or radiating or pushing that energy of low energy at us. Um, maybe that planet is in retrograde. So that planet is not in its full force energy um, or maybe it's not in um, a sign that we really resonate with all that much. Um, and that can um, really affect us in kind of um, this low energy, which can cause blockages. Um, and these blockages can come in a lot of different ways. Sometimes it can kind of make us feel stuck or kind of like we're not going anywhere. We're not moving anywhere. Like I just feel like I'm stuck. And um, it can also make us feel like lethargic, like I'm just tired all the time or I'm sluggish, like everything is going slow. It can even affect our digestive system. Um, it can be um, uh, slow down our digestive system because if we're not moving that much, then our digestive system isn't moving that much. So it's one of those like it can cause like um, bloating. Um, kind of um, stuffy ears or stuffy nose, constipation, um, muscle, muscle aches, uh, pains, that sort of thing. And even kind of going into our back and our body, um, even like bone structure can kind of be like, eh, it just feels like it's not really that strong. Um, we may desire like during this time frame, like 
more sleep, um, kind of like, I'm just tired. I don't want to deal with anything. And we don't, we think of it as like, oh, well, maybe I almost got a bug, but we don't realize like it's a planetary energy thing coming straight at us. And it can really affect us in more ways than we really expect it to. So what if a planet is sending like high energy? Maybe it's one that you really, really connect to. Um, like, um, the moon cycle, maybe it's a planet in, in a sign, like a planet that you're already connected to and a sign that you're connected to. How is that going to be affecting us? Our new moon and our full moon affect us more than kind of like our, our um, um, what is it, waning moons and that sort of thing. So it's kind of like it's stronger energy. Um, so during these, these periods, it can really... Um, really kind of amp up our concentration, um, can really kind of push our energy, our intuition, um, to kind of go online or kind of like, oh my gosh, so many times people will be like, well, this moon is really affecting my abilities and I'm not sure why. Mm, I know why it's because it's in a sign or it's in a, um, phase that's really affecting you, um, a lot. So it's kind of like, it's not a bad thing. It can be a really great thing, but it can really amp up your abilities at the same time. And, um, it can bring out like activations of your chakras. It can activate, um, like especially your third eye, depending on what's coming in. Your intuition can be on like high alert constantly. Um, and these are kind of feelings, um, that can cause us to feel like we've got to, um, let go of things or we're kind of ready to let go of things. Like I haven't been ready to let go of this and now I am. So it's like, okay, this is great. Um, it can also um, amplify um, any suppressed aches or pains or illnesses because now our energy is kind of like kicking into gear and then anything that's been blocking it, it's like now that's in motion. So like now it's going to affect us. It will usually affect us for a short period of time and then it'll be out of our system. Um, it can also put us on um, kind of like really highly sensitive at this time. Um, this can be um, kind of... Uh, like highly sensitive to kind of opening up our energy, kind of connecting with other people. Um, this can kind of leave us prone to kind of um, changing energy. So a lot of people don't understand like um, when your body, when you're kind of making noises with your body, I know it sounds strange, um, can really amplify um, what's going on with you. So if you've been kind of like in this very low energy for a period of time, and now you hit this energy of high energy, um, when your body is coughing, <coughs> coughing, <coughs> it's your body's way of saying, please make a new choice. Please make a new choice. So every time someone is coughing, their body is asking, can you make a new choice? And the new choice could be like, I, um, am in action or I'm choosing to change or I'm wanting to change or I'm desiring to change or I'm energized my, my body to change. And as you do, your body wants to hear you make that new statement. So if you keep coughing, it's your body's way of saying like, Hey, can we make a new change here? Can we actually make a new change here? Can we make a new change here? And so it can also throw off things, um, where we feel a little a bit out of balance for a period of time, uh, maybe a little dizzy. Uh, we may also have um, skin conditions like pimples or breakouts coming um, and that we kind of get into the energy of it. Um, pimples are all about like stuck old energy um, and usually energy that's not really happy because I have never seen a pimple that looked happy ever. So it's kind of like stuck old angry energy or energy that doesn't feel well. Um, and as we go through this, we can hit times of being kind of like not being able to sleep as well, kind of that insomnia um, or feeling restless. Like I'm feeling like I need to move or change, um, but I've been so tired lately, but I don't feel like it, but I feel like I need to be in motion. That is some energy of like, Yes, you really do need to be in motion and kind of make some changes. And as you keep making changes and upgrading your energy, it will change everything around you. There is also some energy that's kind of like outwardly kind of energy um, or kind of inward energy. Let's talk about that first. So inward energy is kind of like all about going inside and um, ending old cycles and preparing to kind of move into new chapters, kind of like that. that's the end of this chapter and, chapter and we're ready to move into the next chapter. Um, 
This can also come around like during equinoxes and um, solstices, that sort of thing. So kind of like those sort of things. And if you really connect with our moon energy, this can also affect you on probably a little bit lighter scale, but um, during our new moon or our full moon as well. Um, inward energy often comes in moments before before or after um, the significant change in the sky. So it, as the cosmos changes, then it'll affect us. Sometimes people will be on the, the pre side of it and sometimes people will be on the post side of it, but it will change us nonetheless. Um, some of the things that you can kind of look for when it's an inward change um, is um, activating like healing or releasing or letting go of. And you may just go, I've been holding on this for so long and now you're like, let it go. And you're like, where did that come from? Like, oh my gosh, where did that come from? That's just that inward, like we're just ready to let it go. Um, things that, um, old thought patterns, old energy that we kind of like we're holding onto. And then all of a sudden we're just like going, um, just a little side note. This can also, um, during this inward change can cause us, um, I don't want to say like diarrhea, but it can cause a couple of huge bowel movements is the best way to put it. So kind of um, as you move things off, it can all of a sudden just like poof, hear it. Like all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, you've been to the bathroom like four or five times and it's just kind of a big release. It's that body kind of like letting all of that go and like moving into new energy. Kind of outward energy um, changes, kind of changes um, outward um, kind of energy for us, where the other one is kind of like inward energy, kind of like making some changes on the inside. The outward ones can shift um, energy into new ways of like, um, what do we want to shift on the outside? And usually it's outside of normal realms, not like my home office. It would be an office that you would have in, in, in a space or when you're out and about. Um, these... Um, changes can inspire us and really like kind of kick us into gear of stimulating like our healing process moving forward um wanting to be seen where we haven't normally wanted to be seen or we were ready for this external change to kind of like Ta -da, this is what i've done um this can also bring in um um, high and low um, energies with us and it's one of those so you might during this uh, time of inward energy it's one of those like go through a um, high or low energy um, as you're kind of like spinning out some of that energy and ready to make it physical signs can be um, um, when there's blockages I will say a lot of times outward energies are usually things that are usually career related health related things that people can see on the outside um, I was dealing with a client a couple of days ago and, um, like her color had changed and I've seen her like once a week for like four weeks as she's going through some issues. And it was like, you could kind of see like that her skin had been looking very pale and very, um, like yellowish and tinge and that sort of thing. And then all of a sudden I saw her a couple of days ago and she was just like, whoosh, like the energy. I mean, she just had this brightness about her, this life and this energy and just really felt like wow your coloring looks amazing and you look like you know you've gotten a good night's sleep and it was kind of that that um outward energy kind of coming into that low energy at first and then kind of like now we're ready to kick this all out and get this on our journey but a lot of times um you will see significant changes during um like planetary shifts you will see it during full moons of, of kind of like all these blockages that were keeping us from things are all of a sudden like now everything is flowing like i can't believe i thought that i can't believe that i uh, thought that all people that were rich were mean um like my uncle was when i was a kid and now i'm like i'm ready to let that go and i think that's kind of the interesting part of this is the energy can upgrade quickly and just like wow i had no idea i was ready to let this go and now it's gone um, and you can still have some periods of low energy at times, but I will tell you one of the ways that this can really kind of affect us a lot is during eclipse energy. When we have eclipse energy, it is kind of like a full moon or a new moon on steroids with a huge engine ready to go, like um, amplifying all of this up. So this can kind of bring in like your own personal um, astrology um, into your um, energy. Um, it can be um, things that you were not prepared or like didn't even see it coming and all of a sudden like this is shifting your energy. The best way to get through this I think is kind of like work through your symptoms a little by little um, using as um, 
holistic things as possible. Um, like if you're tired, take a nap. It's one of those, if you feel low energy, don't go, you know, get a high caffeine drink or whatever else. Go for a walk or um, kind of get that energy going. Maybe do some stretches or some exercise. Try to use as minimum other things as possible because it's your body's way of saying like, hey, I'm ready to make some changes. I'm Hey, I'm ready to make some upgrades here. And any of those things that you're taking um, uh, can really affect that or kind of slow things down. And we don't want to put things in a slow gear. We want to keep things going as much as we possibly can. Um, um, I think physical um, symptoms kind of like brings out these imbalances. Um, I will say definitely keep your nutrition up, kind of like protecting your body the best you can. Um, I would also, you know, saying kind of like anything that can help boost your immune system would be great. Um, and then make sure that you're in motion and in um, like that can be motion of like literally going through walking, moving around. It could be exercise. Um, going through rituals with other people can also help that as well. And one of the best things is to meditate. This can really bring up some amazing energy for you and kind of bring in some amazing, like uh, relaxing, kind of like moving into this a little bit easier. Um, if you're doing meditation, I would highly suggest trying to do like a moving meditation of when your body is in motion, when you're actually physically moving while you are doing the meditation. A lot of times people will think like, oh, you have to like sit completely still when you're meditating and not move around. Not true, especially when you're trying to work through um, the cosmic changes and how that it can affect us. It is really great when we really open up to these energies of what's out there. And when we realize what planet or what sign is really affecting us, working through that energy can be amazing. Um, if you're not sure what planets are in motion when you start feeling a whole bunch of things kind of coming out, um, just so you know, I do a lot of videos about that of kind of like what planets are in retrograde and which ones are affecting you and how it could be affecting you. So if you're kind of like, wow, I didn't really think I was affected by Mercury in retrograde or Pluto in retrograde or um, Jupiter in this sign or whatever it is, like look at that and kind of like look at your natal chart. Where is that in your natal chart and kind of allowing that to come in and making some amazing changes for you. So that can be like, so let's do some angel cards and get us a little bit more insight into how our cosmos changes affects our physical body. This one is popping up first. This one is divine timing. You are going through that change at the same time that the cosmos is going through that change because it's divine timing. It's divine timing. It's the time for you to let this go. It's time for you to release this energy. And if you don't, that may be coming back around for you in a different way, maybe a different planet or a different sign, but it's going to keep doing it until you learn how to release it. Um, playfulness. Um, playing with planetary energies can be really great. Um, I think doing uh, meditations where you're kind of going out into the cosmos and kind of going into the cosmic energy um, can be very amazingly healing. Uh, when I do it with my celestial meditations, I know my students are like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it really can bring in some amazing healing energy for you. It can bring in a lot of relaxation, a lot of this is really amazing, and bring in some new ways of amplifying that energy, but doing it um, in a playful way. Miracles. When the planets are in um, shifting around you, that can bring in such an amazing way of healing for us. It can bring in some miracles of like, I really never thought I could work through all of this and now I'm working through it. That can really amp up that energy and bring in some healing in some amazing ways, not only for you, but your family members as well nature. This is one, like I said, you want to use, if symptoms are coming up, you want to use the most um, holistic, easy for your system um, um, things as possible. Um, a lot of times just drinking a lot of water or water with like lemon, um, a lemon in there can kind of help kind of clear things out, um, especially if your throat's been like coughing and you needed to are required to make some new changes that can do something as well. And so that can be really um, healing as well as well to kind of voice things out and allow that energy to come in for you and kind of allowing that to kind of like, yes, this is where I'm, I've got to go. Abundance. 
this can bring an abundance of healing, not only to ourselves, like I said, it can bring it to our family members. And um, literally sometimes we don't really notice, like we feel like we're going through something, but you don't feel like the abundant part of it for a little period of time. It's the beginning of the abundance coming in. So it's like, yeah, you're about to make amazing changes. And this can be something that not only help you, like I said, can help family members and even your, especially your children listening. Listening to uh, videos or kind of finding out how the planets um, are going to be affecting you um, can kind of give you a great insight um, and make sure that you're listening to your body as well. When there's things that are coming up, what is that organ used for? Um, where is it? And if there's pain, make sure that you're rubbing or massaging that area, whatever that is. So you're kind of like, I'm moving this and I'm choosing to make some upgrades. And even if you don't know like what to say, sometimes just activating it a little bit more can really activate a lot of healing within you. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.